Welcome back to our war game campaign playthrough for the Pearl of the Orient. We are on turn seven. We need to hold until turn nine. Lantu Island is just about holding against quite a few units. We'll find over here we've pretty much secured that and destroyed the forces there. However, this is becoming a struggle. There's a lot of enemy units there. I'm just wondering what we've got here. There's some Milan 1s. Centurion scimitars. And we have naval forces with them. I'm leaving that as is because they're holding that. Now, I either pull everything back to Kowloon. Kowloon would be a good place to hold. However, I'd be opening up Lantu Island to reinforcements from there. So I fear I may have to do this fight and just hope I can hold off the enemy forces. The issue being their excessive amount of tanks. 64. Screw it. Let's do it. Okay, so. As we did before, they're going to come from over there and then here, probably. And we held this area. Just trying to decide if there's somewhere else you could hold. It would be easier. I don't think so. This is the most defendable position because at least you can see them coming. They have a, a lot of units, but we have more morale. So we're relying on that. So first we need a fob. I'm going to put it up at the front. I'm going to put command infantry down. in a building back here. Get rid of that. Now we need to think about the fact we're going to have lots of vehicles coming in again. First we're going to have a recon chopper because that's coming massively handy. We're going to need all our tornadoes. I'm just going to buy two to start with because they're expensive. We need our aid at because they are fantastic at taking out ground and air units. I want you to try and keep them alive. Because these guys will be able to take out incoming. In fact, I'm really tempted to move this to here. Because then they'll be within that radius. Tanks. We have cheap stuff and cheap stuff. And not many of them, so we've lost all our big tanks. Which is obviously a significant issue. Vehicles, we've got tows left. So we might as well put those in position. We have strikers left, which are very expensive for what they are. But we are in the situation where we have no choice. We're going to need infantry to protect back here. So we put Milan's down because we have to. And I guess we put SAS down. They're expensive, but they're good. And I think we fill this with cheap tanks and just hope for the best. At least they'll provide some buffer. And that's all our money. Fine. 
Let's get this over here so we can see what's coming in. Let's move the scorpion light tanks up into a better position so they can shoot at what's coming down. These guys have all got eyes on and they're hidden. These guys all have eyes on and they're hidden. We just need to kill tanks and they're cheap tanks. Look at all those little combat vehicles. Fire? Yes, it did. They've got anti air though, which is a pain. You'd be blind without us. We're reconnoitering this area. Big pain that they're bringing in anti air. Change altitude, stay in the air. There's a limit to how many vehicles I can deal with. It's going to be a significant issue. some kills yes that's good they're not cheap ones either pressure on with the planes. They're all going to be somewhere in this area. Yeah, I'm getting a couple of kills. Yeah, plenty of kills there with all those missiles. Right, that's all the tornadoes in play. Quickly land that to rearm it. I need more recon, don't I? Scorpion. I need something with very good that's cheap. That's 45. But it has a missile. Hmm. See if we can get this over here without it being destroyed. Bring this ferret in over here. Grab the binoculars, Corporal. 
Some of them can fire at that. Plenty of stuff there. Kill some stuff. So many missiles. Very few kills. Infantry. Here starts the rocket artillery. And that does a lot of damage. lot of damage. God, that is devastating. What have I got logistics wise? I've got cargo. I really want to be spending all my stuff on cargo. My jets are somewhat unopposed at the moment. But, uh, just trying to think what to do, deal with the infantry. Cheap little tanks, I guess. Those are within range of that, at least. Those are tanks, I think. Certainly look like it. The vehicles there. They're taking a lot of damage. That's a significant issue. Look at them all there. I need these to rearm faster. There's so many kills available there. Everything's badly damaged. How are we doing on repairs? Terrible. That's almost completely repaired. Once that's done, we'll just... Oh no. You're not empty. Stop. Finish repairing. Oh, we're nearly ready to go in again. Fantastic. We hit that first. With the first one. I'm like pressing my buttons too much. Oh, they're coming. Oh, yeah, loads of points to spend. Quick. Uh, vehicles. Strikers. Let's bring in some more. Bring in some logistics. Bring in that ridiculously good helicopter. They're bringing in infantry, so we need something to do with those. Oh, I don't want Gurkhas in there. They're cheap. Bob is getting wrecked. 
All those tanks are going to die. But we can bring in more cheap tanks. them to hold still. <sighs> so much artillery. Might kill it, might not. Depends if they're being smart and moving it. Yeah, they're moving it. I oh, killed one. Didn't get that one, I don't think. Let's bring in a recon chopper. I wonder if we can go around the back and see where those artillery pieces are and just pick them off with the Lynx. It's risky for the Lynx, but... Uh, I need to do something about them because they're going to destroy my front line if I don't. They are a significant issue. I feel like Why do I have the feeling that you're about to put our lives otherwise we're doing okay at the moment. On the road again. It'd be Got good if they now. didn't all fire. Wasting all this missiles. Oh god, they're bringing in choppers. That's new. So many choppers. Oh my word. We should win this. Unless you do something very impressive shortly. Adats is getting plenty of shots off. Need more ammo for everything. Well, we won. We destroyed an entire one of the armoured squads. Beautiful. Now, I can't rest and refit anything because I don't have any money. Everyone else is fighting. They can rest and refit for once. Fine. Then we end turn and we go into turn eight. There's only one turn left. 
Oh look, they're back with exactly the same forces. Where are... So that's my tornadoes, I need to go back to that. That's the phantoms. I just need to go back to there. Harriers, go back to there. Tornadoes, anti-ship, go there. Not that I can call them in anyway. That's held. We are on turn eight, we only have to do one more turn. No one's there this time. Can anything jump over there and go straight to there? I'm not sure. This one's going to be the easier fight, I think. Yeah, I mean, we're very close. Let's just have a look. I've got points, but I can't refit anything that's in a combat zone. What do they usually have? I don't know, but I can refit them. I think we pull them back. Oh, I can't refit them because I moved them. Never mind, that's alright. We just accept that we can lose that now. Pull everything back. So we need to be able to hold this. Let's do this fight first. They've never done a very good job of attacking us here. That was a boring fight. Genuinely boring as hell. Okay. Fine. Then we do this last fight, then I guess. Let's have a look. 10,000 versus 8,000, so we're still in the same position we were before. I have even less tanks, if that's even possible. What have these guys got? Because oh, I refit them, didn't I? Well, we do the same again and just hope we can hold out. They lost a, a tank division, so they've only got 17 tanks instead of 64. So that's awesome. They've got less of those as well. Because we killed a couple. Okay. Same again. This time, more air defense at the start. Because I think there's going to be an issue with the... Who's the cheapest command squad? 110, 120, 110. Get rid of that. That can be moved up there again. The ADATs were doing an amazing job. So all three of the ADATs are coming in again. In fact, I'm going to bring them in as a squad and they might organize themselves better. Just in terms of who they're firing at. Vehicles. Tow launches. Just put them together. And air. Uh, I want two of those straight away. I need my recon chopper again. I want cheap, crappy tanks. Oh, there, there we go. Veterans, three of them in there. I want some more cheap recon units a little scorpion in there not my gazelle which can be there I need hmm I guess we go with the strikers I'm trying to group them costs they should be better at aiming and stuff. 
And then we need something to defend these guys, so I'll go with SAS, I suppose. A squad of SAS is better than nothing. All right, points launch battle. Unload. Someone call for a cab. Get the gazelle up. Get these guys there. Scorpion could be there. These guys. Can I group? Yeah, there we go. Maybe further along. I just want them all to be in there. There's a command vehicle. The captain and his crew welcome you aboard. Evac, evac. <sighs> yes. One of the bombs got it. Nice. Need some extra eyes, sir. Took a lot of damage though. There's still a swarm of tanks, isn't there? Considering that we took out most of the tanks, or we appeared to. They're bringing in a lot more infantry, though. We're going to be relying on cheap tanks to kill the infantry. Ready, ready, sir. Choppers. Uh, run away. Loads of choppers. We're reconnoitering this area. The air that should be good against them, but uh, we're reconnoitering this area. Whether they can deal with that many is up for debate. They're pushing around that way as well. It's so difficult to know what they're doing. They're pretty low to the ground. Some of them I might be able to damage with clusters. Didn't hit anything. Spend it on tractor rapiers because there's a lot of choppers, and if they come around the back, I'm in trouble. Even with SAS, there that's one squad of SAS versus a lot of choppers, so I need the rapiers in position. Oh, I need more points. At least I killed that command vehicle. In fact, I don't have to do much damage to make them lose this, and then the turn's over, and we've reached turn nine. Or do I have to wait, say, if I have to survive till the end of turn 9? I should be able to, though, surely. I mean, this should be it. It's pretty disappointing for Gnarly. That previous fight was terrible. If this is the last big battle, I didn't even bring the Canadian tank regiment into play. I was about to say, I'm going to bomb those things, but uh, I think they're going to attack. Just waiting for a target to fly by. Okay. Oh, wow. Edat Rock. Where those Edats go? That's it, game. One more kill of anything. Boom, dead. Wow.
Well. Uh, end turn. Let's see what happens. So they move back into position to attack. Despite the heavy losses in men and in territory, Hong Kong stood strong. This might be a fair victory, but it allows us to negotiate a Chinese withdrawal. If we had kept Sai Kung and Lantzu Island out of enemy hands, our success would have been major and our diplomatic position would have been stronger. I kept Lantzu Island, technically, just because they're in there with me. Well, that brings us to the end of the Pearl in the Orient campaign. We've had some highs and some lows, some battles that just weren't going our way, some battles that we won very easily, and some really boring battles where the enemy didn't even attack us. But it goes to show that there is an issue in this game when you're playing against the AI in these campaigns in particular that you can't select your own decks and therefore you're missing units. So I couldn't even attack the ships when I was defending against the ship's assault. So, you know, there are good points and bad points in these campaigns, but I have enjoyed it overall. I would certainly do another one in the future, I suspect. But that's quite enough campaigns for now. We're waiting patiently for the South Africa DLC to come out so we can start playing some multiplayer again. However, I might dabble a little bit in between. There's just been a lot of other game betas and stuff going on the last couple of weeks. But I really appreciate everyone who's tuned in to watch these videos. I hope those of you who have watched them, that you have enjoyed them. I know they won't be for everyone. But thanks very much for watching. Please, as always, like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you all soon for some more Wargame videos.